what we want to achieve in the, in the face of a changing climate is to test whether our current rotations are still the most economic um, and whether we can change or tweak our rotations to make sure that we're still the most economic economic over the over the period of seven to ten years uh, is the aim so what we want to do is run through a series of scenarios with the new climate figures overlaid with that just to make sure that our economics add up so I don't know how does that so so how well do you think the model works on the Liverpool plains these days so the models are a lot better than it used to be um, they put a lot of work into it um, it's very good for wheat um, and quite good for canola. Uh, sorghum, it still probably struggles with a bit, but uh, hopefully within the ground truthing of the group, we can get that a, a bit more accurate and we can, we can overlay scenarios, even though the, accurate, the model may not be as accurate, as accurate as we'd like, we can still overlay scenarios to see how that generally affects it. Um, some agronomists have talked about the importance of do you sow um, do you sow your sorghum early or do you wait a couple of months and plant it a bit later and hope for more moisture accumulation? Do you see that as important down at this end of the plains or definitely important? You know, moisture is what we do. So um, it is. I mean, that's what we play with. That's farming. You know, if if we don't have the moisture there, we can't grow the crop. But what we also need to check is at what moisture level that we've got does that return an economic point. So if we're not quite there with moisture, we are probably better off and we can model this and we can check that we may be better off to wait until the profile's full so that we can, so that we can um, you know, sort of generate a better result at the end of the crop or a better economic result. Some of his modelling recently has sort of re-emphasised the importance of ground cover and refilling profiles and particularly after the drought. Do you think the data out of that will help you convince clients to re-emphasise the importance of ground cover and keep oh, them on track there? Definitely. I mean, we've, we've, we've seen it. What, what the project does is actually put some numbers around it. So practically we know that ground cover is going to give you better, better moisture conservation. But what the model does is tells you what basically gives you what that's worth in terms of millimetres of moisture. So if we go from a ground cover level of less than 30%, up to 70 or 80 percent, you know, that's worth an extra, an extra sort of 15 percent of fallow use efficiency. So we can put a number on that and tell us what that's worth. So when a grower is actually thinking of taking the ground cover off or not, not going with, you know, taking a management option that that reduces the ground cover, we can say, well, this is this is what this decision is worth, and then you can let them sort of, and you can help them make the decision with the full knowledge particularly at the moment you know when we're talking about increased climate change more sporadic weather events uh, we can model that and just check what the actual effect is